In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Gospel of January the 19th, 2018. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Jesus went up the mountain and summoned those whom he wanted, and they came to him. He appointed twelve, whom he also named apostles, that they might be with him, and he might send them forth to preach and to have authority to drive out demons. He appointed the twelve, Simon, whom he named Peter, James, son of Zebedee, and John, the brother of James, whom he named Boanerges, that is, sons of thunder, Andrew, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Thomas, James, the son of Alphaeus, Thaddeus, Simon the Cananean, and Judas Iscariot, who betrayed him. Gospel of the Lord, praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Well, let us just make a small stop and indwelling in the, in the twelve. Curiously, Mark does not mention that Andrew was the first apostle and the one who actually called Simon, letter named the stone, the brother of Simon. He mentions all twelve. And in there, in those twelve, there is one who is a traitor, but that God chose him. The twelve had the same authority, because the twelve were chosen by God. It was a college of apostles. And notwithstanding that Mark was a disciple of Peter, he still had to portray what happened really in the calling of God. Jesus called those whom he wanted. Vocation always comes from God. We do not choose. We should never choose to follow the Christ by our own. Certainly it could be the moving of the Spirit within our hearts that entices us to go toward the lamp of God. But it is always the motion of God, the invitation of Him, and our rightful and well thought and free answer to Him. What did He invite them to be? First of all, first of all to be with Him. That is the operative word today. That we should be with Him, that we should remain with Him. It is not enough to meet Him or to hear Him and then just go elsewhere and depart from Him. You have to be with Him always, all every hour of the day, every day of the week, of the year, of every year, of all our lives. The other two things are inherent to that. He, said he will send us to preach, to preach the Gospel, that is the good news of Him, the Savior of our souls the lover of mankind, but also to have authority to drive out demons. And we must do that always. That is a commandment. It's not whether we want to do it and we'll do it if we want to. It's that it was commanded by God. You see, time and again the Lord expresses that will. He appointed them so that they would drive out the demons. And many times because in the presbytery, we, many of us do not live rightly, do not live holy. Many times we are afraid to fight against the devils. And we should not be afraid, for the battle is already won. No devil, not even all the devils together, can withstand the finger of God, that is the Holy Spirit, that we have received by the imposition of the hands. But we don't have we have not received the Holy Spirit for our own pleasure or for our own gain, but for the sanctification and the healing and everything else towards the children of God. Let us be humble, dear brothers, and let us pray that we might all, those of us invested by the imposition of the hands, and those of us sanctified by the holy baptism, to be faithful to God always. May the Lord be with you.
and the blessing of God Almighty, who is Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, descend on you and remain on you forever.